Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mama Purdue here. Um, I've been busy since making some snacks for friends and family for the holidays. So um, I have here a bag of mixed nuts, that's corn nuts and peanuts, and it's garlic flavor and spicy. And this bag here is my pralines pecans with mixed berries. And I just box them like this and I give them to friends and families and neighbor. And today I am making some um, biscotti. Um, I, I love having biscotti with my breakfast so I have some extra bread here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make biscotti out of it and uh, put them in a little clear plastic bag like this and uh, share them with some some more friends and family and over here in the oven I still have some more of my um, pralines pecans and uh, with mixed berries finishing up so we'll put that in there for just a few more minutes and then they'll be ready so with the biscotti you can use any bread that you like it's really up to you um, I have I, I usually use plain just loaf of bread, you know, a lot of times I get extra uh, loaf of bread and um, I have them for so long I don't want them to go bad, so I ended up making biscotti out of them. So, um, so in this case, this is like a, a baguette or some sort and I just slice it kind of um, no more than an inch thick and then I'm just going to take butter and uh, and I just spread some on each slices and sprinkle a little bit of wa um, water, a little bit of sugar, not water. I sprinkle a little bit of sugar on them and, um, and then I bake them at really, really low heat for a good hour and a half to two hours, like 180, 190 in temperature. And, um, and my oven is cracked open, so, and I bake them until they're nice um, and um, crisp. So I'm gonna finish up doing this and then I will bring you guys back up um, shortly. So I have a mountain of buttered bread here. This is baguette. And then this one here is the sourdough. Um, you could use any bread you want. Uh, but like I said, I use normally use the plain one. And then normally I would just sprinkle the sugar, but since I have a lot to do, so I just dip it, spread the butter, and dip it on there. And uh, me, I love it with more butter and um, not too sweet, you know, just a slight sweetness to it. So I can't wait to taste this um, sourdough. I think it's going to be yummy. So that's it. That's how much sugar. Not a whole lot. Um, I like them with my coffee or some afternoon, you know, just some afternoon snack there. Um, and, um, and they last long because they're dry. Just keep them in a dry airtight container and they... They last a good while. My grandmother used to make this for me all the time and that's where I've learned it. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'll share it with you guys. Sometimes um, when I really wanna um, have a taste of it, I'll take just a, a slice piece of bread, which I have been doing a lot lately, honestly, um, in the morning and just uh, pop it in the toaster, spread some butter, and sprinkle some sugar. That's it, guys. It's really simple, easy. It just takes a little bit of time because we want them to um, crisp up and not brown, you know, just almost like drying them, dehydrating them process kind of thing. So uh, melt the butter and the sugar into the bread slowly. So, yeah, just take time and... Uh, but the result is so yummy 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 everybody in my household likes it so anyways that's what i've been doing um i want to wish everybody a uh, merry christmas um 
and I hope that everyone is doing well and I can't wait to get the new year get started and be able to um, share more project and uh, maybe do a little bit of gardening I planted some garlic uh, a few months ago uh, about, no, not a few months ago maybe just a week ago um, my tray is full uh, but they're doing really good and um, I wanted to share some more gardening with you guys so um, yeah so okay well I'll bring you guys back up again so really simple just bread butter and sugar that's all you need and then of course your oven to um, kind of slowly uh, toast them so all right buttered sweet biscotti is happening in Mama Perdue's kitchen so and then of course the other snack I think the pecan should be good to go yep I'm gonna get it out it's already done so and then I'll pop the other bread I'm using directly on my tray just because I don't have a big enough tray and, and I want to make sure that the whole um, bread gets dry really quick and easy okay guys I think our biscotti are ready so I just touch it make sure it's not soft it's nice and crisp let me so I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the oven and just let them cool in there keeping the door open they're ready I'm gonna keep my door open just to kind of cool them down there you go and let me see where can I put you where can I put you so you can hmm okay I have to just take a bite I wanted to show you guys nice and crisp and dry okay let me taste mmm mmm Butter and a hint of that sweetness from the sugar. Yummy. As I said, um, you can like dunk half of this in a uh, melted chocolate. So you have chocolate covered biscotti if you like. I mean, when you put the butter, you can put cinnamon on it if you like too. So, um, yeah. I hope that you guys like it. Give it a try. It's really easy. It's so delicious. I love it. It's the, my favorite is I think it's a buttery sweet um, sweetness to it and the crisp, crispiest, crispy part of the uh, biscotti. So this goes great with my coffee and your afternoon snack. On the go, easy and lasts long. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful holidays. And um, welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for all your support. So excited for 2019. And um, we'll be talking with you again really soon. Bye.